over a month now, the Gen Z have led protests in different parts of the country, particularly in major towns. While this has seen action taken by the head of state, such as the recent cabinet dissolving, it has also seen millions worth of property destroyed and lives lost. The second in command fears that this situation could worsen if the Gen Z insist on demonstrating. Please, we have heard you. Umeongea vizuri. Umeskika. Yale yote munataka imeeleweka. And you have made your point. You don't need to rub it in. Gashagwa has emphasized the need for optimism despite current difficulties. Kama taifa, la jamuri ya Kenya, sitaki tukufe roho. Tuko na matatiso hapa na pale ya kiuchumi. Ya siyasa yetu, ya vile tunayendesha mambo, lakini tuko na matumaini. Looking ahead to the 2027 general election, Gashagwa encouraged Kenyans to choose a leader who can effectively address the country's needs. Sisi mumeambia tuangalia mawe, tuchonge kwaza kwa kware, tujenge na hai. Ata nyinyi kifika uchagusi, mchonge mawe kwaza. Elsewhere, while taking note of significant progress in reducing alcohol abuse among young men, Gashagwa has also highlighted government's efforts in further combating illicit alcohol. We have made good strides and we have seen the positive outcome to Kipigana na Ipombe. Vijana wameanza kurudi kufanya kazi, wamerudi kuchunga familia. They have become responsible. They are taking care of their wives and children. His plea to the Gen Z comes days before planned demonstrations set for Tuesday. Ben Kirira, K24, Nairobi.